mustaches. If you're not really careful, it'll get on your canaches. But it comes right off the butter that you can get right from your cupboard. I like to cut fur, yeah, that old duck fur. It's really kind of neat and it makes a lot of heat. Just line up the crack and give it a whack. I know it's not essential, but we're swinging bucket specials and cast urban classics, cause we don't prefer plastic. I like to cut fur. Hi everybody. Okay, so what we got going on today is uh, is kind of a demonstration of why this particular tree, this piece of wood, is from a particular tree that would, to me, make better firewood than lumber, as far as wood goes. Some people ask why wood isn't made into lumber and is made into firewood. Okay, so let's get with it. This ring right here, see this ring? All the way around here, this tree is wind shook. So this heartwood separated from this wood. There's a line of pitch in here. That, that's what, that's what, how you see that line, is it's a line of pitch, okay? So what I've done is to to see this if i were to mill this i could cut a one by here might be close to getting a one by here down this side i can cut a one by here yeah i probably wouldn't get a one by on this side okay so if you can picture that That might be better. If you can picture that, then I would have pretty good board all the way down. Then I can make one by whatever, whatever this is. I know this corner's rounded because I, you know, just freehand cut it with a saw, chainsaw. So if I get to here, after I cut this one by, and I get to here, and I want to cut another one, say a two by four or whatever, if I do that, if I cut that, look what happens. This right here is going to separate. So I'm going to show you that.
see I want to make sure you can see that see this let's turn it around see this this is the top of that ring right that's what happens see that separates now what do I have I have a one by something and then I have that so that's not going to make a very strong board with that in it right Watch this one. See that? That's, so that's, oh, it's a piece of kindling now. And then this one isn't very strong either. <coughs> it has the line. You can see it right there. Right there, you can see it. And it's got a knot in it, so if you tried to pound a nail in that, it's probably going to come apart. I hope this is kind of making sense, but that, that separation is going to happen. You know, and a good mill person can mill around it, because they would probably mill right to the heartwood. But see, it's going to happen all the way down the tree right there is your line right there is the circle so it's going to keep happening <clears throat> if i cut another one i'm going to lose this much wood off of the side of it like i said a good mill person could probably will they probably mill around it but this is the pitch line all the way up this piece of wood all the way up this so that's why this particular tree, in my opinion, makes better firewood than it would to mill it. Because you already lose the outside. You know, you can use the rough cut stuff for paneling on fences and all that kind of stuff. But as far as being able to cut around and get to the center you know to the heartwood then you got i mean then you're starting over and then you're cutting more slabs off to get something square to cut with the mill hope it makes sense just a little explanation a little demonstration for the folks out there that wonder about why i cut it for firewood instead of lumber that's one reason the other reason another reason is because i can't load logs that are this big in the woods and bring them home eight footers six footers whatever i can't get them in my pickup right so i i cut firewood i don't mill i i, I don't mill this is as close to you to milling as you'll see and i only did it for a demonstration to show one what wind shook is how that is in the center and why i cut this tree into firewood
pitch. This is the center. This is what the center of that looks like. Right? See that pitch? That's the separation that I'm talking about. That's another reason that it makes really good firewood. Yep. There we go. So I hope everybody has a great day. Love you all. Take care. Be safe. Tasman is rolling. Oh, yeah. And the 350 rips pretty good. <laughs>